With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, here is the question. Figure shows the uh, graph of x coordinate of a particle moving along x axis as a function of time. Average velocity during t equal to 0 to 4 seconds and instantaneous velocity at t equal to 4.113 seconds uh, respectively will be. So we have to find average velocity during t equal to 0 to 4 seconds and another one is uh, instantaneous velocity at t equal to 4.113 seconds. So from the graph first we have to find the displacement during t equal to 0 to 4 seconds. Now displacement uh, during t equal to 0 second to 4 second is. So if you observe carefully here 0 to 4 second displacement. So up to 0 to 1 it is covered 10 meter. After 1 to 4 second still it is at same place. So that means total displacement covered in first two, uh, 4 seconds is 10 meter only. So now the displacement during t equal to 0 to 4 second is uh, 10 meters. Now we have to find the average velocity during t equal to 0 to 4 seconds. So now v average is equal to that is the displacement in 0 to 4 second is 10 meter. So divided by time is 4 seconds. Now we will get the 2.25 meter per second. This is the average velocity. Next we have to find instantaneous velocity at t equal to uh, 4.113 seconds. So second one is at t equal to 4.113 seconds. So what is the instantaneous velocity. So if you observe from the graph 4 to 5 seconds it is moving with the uh, constant uh, velocity because it is a straight line graph hence motion is uniform. So in xt if straight line graph is there so definitely that is a uniform motion and moving with constant velocity. At any point in between 4 to 5, velocity is same. So that is called constant velocity. So at t equal to 4.113 second or t equal to 4.216 or t equal to 4.226, anywhere, so the velocity is going to constant. So hence instantaneous velocity, if you want to find, so just to find the slope here. So otherwise, v instantaneous is equal to uh, dx by dt. So dx by dt. So now dx by dt I am taking the uh, fourth second and fifth second. So fourth second displacement is 10 and fifth second it is 20. So now the dx by dt is equal to 20 minus 10 by. So that is the change in time is only 1 second that is 5 minus 4. So we will get here 10 by 1 that is called 10 meter per second. This is the instantaneous velocity. Now the right option is the second one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.